Hello, my name is Mike Warren and I want to take you through uh, an introduction and also some guidance on the APM's Risk Management Level 1 Certificate. Risk Management, as, as you're probably aware, is a distinct and specific area within the APM's body of knowledge and it's a very, very important control function within any project or programme. Uh, the Level 1 Certificate is designed for those involved in projects and programmes, and particularly the risk management aspect of that, at any level. Uh, the Level 1 Certificate consists of an exam, one hour exam, multi-choice, which is designed to determine an individual's knowledge of project risk management. There is a syllabus which you can download from the PM channel, and you should be familiar with that syllabus before undertaking the training and certainly the exam. And the other key document is the APM's PRAM guide. PRAM stands for Project Risk Analysis and Management Guide. And most of the syllabus, not all of the syllabus, most of the syllabus is covered by this material. So you certainly need to read this before undertaking your training, and during your training, and definitely before the exam. Uh, the benefits of doing this course are, are many. Um, certainly it will increase your understanding of the risk management process, uh, the people issues um, within risk management, and, there, and we'll see that there are a number of those uh, that can affect the way we do risk management. And also we'll look at the techniques uh, and the tools that are used in risk management. Uh, the, the second benefit, of course, is it gives you a, a professional qualification that is recognised by uh, your peers, by employers and by international bodies. As we've said, the, the PRAM guide is, is the key document, but we will also reference during the training the APM's body of knowledge. It's not essential that you, essential that you have a copy of that because we'll take you through the subject. Um, but if you do have a copy, then, then it's useful to reference the, particularly the risk management, stakeholder management sections of that book. If we talk about the exam, it's a one hour closed book exam which is externally invigilated by the APM. There are 60 questions, multiple choice, four possible answers, only one of which is correct. And we'll give you an example of a couple of questions in a minute. Um, and you will need to score 36 or more correct to pass. That's a 60% uh, pass mark. Uh, you will need to give evidence of who you are. You'll need to show the invigilator a uh, photographic ID, so a passport, a modern driving license, or, 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 or maybe a works pass, security pass, uh, will be sufficient there. 